वन टू थ्री हम भी Good morning from Hampi. We have just reached today, and uh, we are walking towards the main road. I will show you my homestay a little later. Um, today, today is day one, and we are going to explore the Hampi market, the temple side. We are at uh, Viru Paksha Temple, which you can see behind me, and it's really beautiful. <laughs> it is dedicated to Lord Shiva. So let's go inside and see the temple. Virupaksha Temple, situated on the banks of Tungabhadra River, is recognized as the World Heritage Site by UNESCO. has rich history and magnificent architecture the gateway is 9 tiered and 50 meters in length with well carved art sculptures this is the inner courtyard of the temple complex which houses a sanctum three ante chambers numerous small shrines and a ranga mandapa The structure of beautifully carved pillars are quite exquisite. One of the most striking feature of Virupaksha Temple is its murals and three-headed nandi. The roof of Ranga Mandapa is adorned with vibrant murals that are 600 years old and depict scenes from Hindu mythology. So it's almost like ten thirty in the morning, but uh, it's sweating profusely. It's really hot over here, and uh, as you can see, the temple is really beautiful, and it's all covered with monkeys. There are so many monkeys, so be careful if you are taking some bananas. Or I think if you want to visit the, the temples, then you better come early. So behind me, you can see uh, the elephant. His name is Lakshmi. He will come and give blessings. So we are also trying that. Lakshmi, the temple elephant at Virupaksha Temple, is holy. According to people, she is a living incarnation of God Ganesha, a symbol of success and a remover of obstacles. 
with beautiful long lashes, a sweetest elephant with a trunk and forehead painted with red and orange patterns. This is like the pond area where you can get a reflection of the Virupaksha temple. It's a really beautiful back side of the temple. So many fishes. And we experienced the serenity of Virupaksha temple for some time. We've come all the way up to see the Anusha temple over here behind. So let's go. Just look at the view. We have boulders all around us. There's Virupaksha temple. We are walking towards the Ganesha temple and Hemakutta uh, Hills but it's really beautiful around it's almost like 1 o'clock so the sun is like right above our head This Ganesha is carved from one stone. It's so huge as you can see. Amazing architecture. This giant statue being 4.5 meters tall is one of among the largest sculptures in Hampi. The belly of this statue resembles a Bengal gram and hence the name. Kadale Kadu Ganesha. This is Sasi Vekalu Ganesha. <coughs> Reena will tell me the story behind it. <laughs> Hi. So uh, it's about Ganesha and the snake that is tied around his uh, tummy. So once Ganesha had a lot of food and his uh, tummy was full, and he was scared that his tummy would burst. So because of that fear, he tied a snake around his tummy just to be sure that his tummy is intact. We took a lunch break at Humpy's famous restaurant, The Mango Tree. This place has a nice vibe and a cozy ambience. Thakanwala face. This is Mango Tree's special thali. <coughs> South Thali, it is more local. Thank you. For so many curries. You should try if you come to Mango Tree. This is Banopi Pai and uh, it's the favourite dish over here in Mango Tree. Banana, chocolate and some biscuit inside it. Do try if you come to Mango Tree. Did you like it, Reema?
This is our way to <coughs> Vithila temple, so beautiful, Tungabhadra river and the boulders are looking so beautiful. Along our way to Vithila temple, we came across Achutaraya temple. The location of the temple is very secluded, thus it attracts less crowd. Majority of it is in ruins, but the pillars, the walls, does not fail in grandiosity. Way to the Vithala temple is so beautiful. <laughs> the road is very beautiful, the approach road to the temple. I mean, just look at it. The lake is filled with lotuses and the boulders and the greenery. Just hear the silence. You need to take ticket for Vitala Temple. It's 40 rupees per person. beautiful stone chariot statue which is famously printed on our 50 rupees note. The first thing that you notice while entering Vithala temple is the stone chariot which is the most photographed structure in all of Hampi. Integrate work on the chariot has to be seen to be believed. It has the statue of Garuda over it which is the vehicle of Lord Vishnu. Every pillar in Vitala temple is a work of art. They all are monolithic, that is, carved out of a single rock. Can you imagine that? Some among these are musical pillars, which when struck, sound like musical instruments. I think we are done for the day. We just visited Vitala temple. There you can see the moon and from here you can see Viru Paksha. I think I've clicked Viru Paksha temple from every possible angle. <laughs> Today we missed the sunset. 
because we were visiting the Vithila temple but we'll try to catch the sunset tomorrow. Look at the sunset. Amazing. Meeru Paksha. Meeru Paksha at night. It looks so beautiful. Wow. The glory is just different at night. We have come to the Humpy Market where you get leather craft, hippie clothes, musical instruments, etc. We've come to chill out Ganesh restaurant for dinner. So that's it from this video guys. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. I'll be covering the second and third day in episode number two. So stay tuned guys till then. Bye bye.